What is up everybody, welcome back to another video and another redstone tutorial. So we're going to be doing a melon and pumpkin farm. So let's grab some chest, some hoppers, get storage system started. So you can want to do a double chest like that. Then a hopper leading into that. Then on either side. Another hopper leading into the first hopper. Alright, so this is where the items are going to get to end up. Let's grab a temporary, not temporary block, just a, a building block. So, let's see how you want to do this. Okay, so we'll just have. Yeah, okay, so we'll just. This is gonna be it, isn't it? Yeah, okay, so. I'll figure out how a melon pumpkin farm works. That is the middle. So we have one, two, three, four, five. And then we a three on. This side. I'll just go back a few blocks. Looks about good. There is a very real chance that this farm will not work. But I'm just trying to mess around with stuff until it does work. Because that's the key for redstone. If your machine doesn't work, you, instead of tearing it down and starting again, you just start adding repeaters and torches and stuff until it does work. So now, once we have done that, we're going to need rails. This is the complicated part. The machine itself is fine. It's the, getting the rails working the way it's meant to go. Which is the hard part. Oops, we're gonna need some power rails too. And some redstone block. Alright, so we're gonna have the mine cart. It's gonna go this way. Now uh, the complicated part is going to need it to loop around the tire. That's going to be another power rail. Oh, no, that's not going to work. Being a power rail, okay. These have to be normal rails because otherwise it will power the hot. First, if we put one of those there, no, that's not what we want, no. This is why I don't like doing it, and of course, because they, that's a, they can't, these power rails can't be on a corner, because of course they can't, because they are useless. Alright, so now if we just add this go to the end, and then we continue it to just go around like this, yes, now we're starting to get somewhere. So I think one power rail per line should be good. Don't break, don't break, don't break, don't break on us, yes. Wow, the rails are actually doing what they're meant to be doing. That is fun. Yeah, I'm gonna about here a little power rail. Perfect power rail. Dun, 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 dun. Power rail. Dun, 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 
done. So now, if we... That's not what we want. So we send it off this way. Yes, it'll loop around the entire thing. Perfect. So this is the collection system all done. Yes, we have enough power rails. That is beautiful. Now let's test something. If I put a dirt block here, can the hopper mine carts? Yes, it can. That is what we like to see. So now what you're going to want to do next is you're going to want to cover the entire rail track with a layer of dirt. Like so. That minecart's not going to get annoying. I probably should have put that in last. But actually if we break this. Yes, and we managed to put it back in without breaking absolutely everything. So now we know the track works. So then what we're going to want to do is grab some stairs. It can be any stairs and uh, some buckets of water because I'm sure you all probably know. I'm going to just grab some nice oak stairs. If there's like one person watching this who doesn't know, you can water log stairs. Let's just see how do we want to do this. No, that's not what we want. So we're just going to do it like so. No, yes, that's what we want. And then we can grab some oak planks. Now these don't need to be exact because water blocks actually have a, let's uh, just, because we can, let's just make it at least look a little nice and have it centered, but water blocks have a 9x9 nine nine radius of making stuff grow. Let's think about here, we'll mark it a redstone is where we're going to have the next stair then we'll do it again in line with here and we'll have it in line again here and then don't worry in a second we will replace these redstone blocks with stairs just want to get all of these planks in first like so so and like so so now we're going to grab where are our water buckets does anybody know wait there we go so now we just place that there, that there, that there, and that there. There's so now every, all of the these. That's loud. I forgot to netherite. Yeah, yeah, I forgot to grab one of these as an achievement. So that was loud. So basically now every single one of these. Um, farm and blocks will be fertile so what we're gonna want to do is we're gonna grab some pumpkin and melon seeds some ingredients so I'm sure you can tell I have no idea where anything is in creative mode inventory Drinks? No. Nature? Sitting here. Aha. It's got a lot of melon seeds. And pumpkin seeds. And then we're going to alternate. So, going to 
do we'll do we'll just alternate like so making sure that you leave a block between each of them so that stuff can grow so then we're going to want to just put those every second one Now we're gonna grab some meal, and I've done. No, it's just it doesn't really matter too much. I just realised I've done this wrong, so we'll just do them all this one seed. It doesn't really matter. You can do all all melon, all pumpkin. It doesn't really matter. The mechanisms of the farm work the same regardless of what, which of the two seed types you decide to use. Now let's grab some bone meal, which I know is an ingredient, so there we go. So I'm going to bone meal all of these. And we have a pumpkin melon already. For reasons we'll just do that, so hope we know it works. And yeah, okay, so Does that need one more? Yes. These things grow really fast. Nope. Whoa, oh, that's not fun. Ugh. No, we'll do so on that and then pump and see there. Wow, yeah, okay, stuff is growing fast. I just remembered, I think I have I done a I've done a tutorial for melon and pumpkin farms. I mean, this is another design. Actually the what I did before is like a one her it I only tried I do it once. This is like how to do a bigger version of that. So it's still the same idea where we have the observers detecting these stems and then pistons breaking the stuff. But I just want to show you because some of you might not know how you get the observers in this big field without breaking a ton of stuff. There, that should be all of it. On. Yes, now what we're going to do this next bit is a little tricky but nothing too bad. So we need some of that, that, and a piston. So what you're going to want to do that wasn't too smart. Let's just place one of those. And then that, so that we can. No, this isn't what we want. And now, no, why is it like that? Oh dear. So, what we 
want is the observer face. Oh yeah, this is much easier than I thought. So we just want the observer, the face looking part of the observer's need to be looking down at the the stems of the crops. And then the other spaces are going to be pistons. And then we're gonna have redstone dust on top of the observers. Not the not the pistons, just the observers. So that when because the way it works is when the block grows, that is a update for the um, stems to so observe the text that update the triggering the redstone which will trigger the pistons which will break the blocks and then our minecart system we set up earlier that will collect all the drops and you have yourself a working melon and pumpkin farm you can do big massive things with flying machines but this is the easiest to do the only downside is it is a little pricey with all of the observers but once you get yourself an all right supply of quartz from the nether it shouldn't really be too difficult so now we're going to want to place redstone on all of these like so no let's just leave that as it is don't touch any of it so just want to make sure that every observer has a piece of redstone on it So now what we're going to do now is Okay, so let's I'm going to do some, a little bit of this Why do 